right, all right, all right. Good morning. What is up? I'm in Kerato Campos and last night I was parked here and I slept here. When I woke up in the morning, my view was toward the sea and to the beach and like I had a good night of sleep. I really enjoyed the waves, the calmness and everything. Okay, enough of that. Uh, Kerato Kambos is located in the southern uh, side of Kriti Island. If you have heard of like Myrtos, uh, Terza, Sidonia, Arvi, after Arvi it is Kerato Kambos. This place is a very beautiful place and also it has, it is, the beach is very huge and many small little beaches like this one uh, that you can come and you can just enjoy your time right now i'm a little bit out of the center of kerato Kambos. we will uh, go to the center explore a little bit the center and see what's going on there and also at the end of the video i will uh, put some drone footage to give you a better perspective so let's go uh, and uh, explore kerato Kambos. All right, so we are at the very beginning of uh, the center of Kerato Kambos. Actually, there is uh, not like a center center of like a town. It's uh, like a small seaside village with a few taverns and a few coffee shops, very cute and beautiful, something like that. So I'm at the uh, eastern beginning of uh, Kerato Kambos and we are gonna walk our way into the kind of those taverns shop areas and then we will keep walking until the port and also behind the port to the beach so here we have uh saro taverna it means like a fish tavern in this area and they have a very nice place to sit here and the view toward the sea is gorgeous it's very beautiful i like the quietness of this place like how less of traffic here is like you barely see any car or rarely see any car passing by and here we have another uh, coffee shop slash taverna restaurant and they already or I guess functioning they say they, they are writing here every Monday closed so uh, on the Mondays they are not working and here we have a church and the good thing is that we have also here uh, a small parking that's where I left the car and just next to the parking there is a shower there is a place that you can change clothes i also forgot to tell you where i was parked and spend the night there was also shower and also place to change your clothes let me see if it's working of course it's working summer is here summer is here the showers are working <laughs> We have a very cute house here and this seems to me more like uh, a place to, to stay, like a hotel. And we have another uh, restaurant here very nice very cutely decorated uh, traditional cuisine restaurant pizza so it's a pizza restaurant here we could take that street and go there is nothing i already drove that way so let's walk this way yeah, and here we have, I guess, Airbnb or hotels that you can rent and you can stay, which is not 
a bad choice. Look at this, how traditional it is. Old fashioned. And imagine yourself coming out, coming down from the stairs and coming here, putting your table and having your breakfast or you can go to the restaurant just immediately. <laughs> it's your life. Do whatever you want. What I'm saying is just my imagination and my suggestions. Very humble and kind suggestions. When I started the video, I was completely out of tune. I didn't know what I'm saying. And now I'm getting back there. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, tuning in. Somebody is saying you still don't know what you're saying. <laughs> it depends on our personal preferences. <laughs> So here we have a, like a stony, rocky beach. The water is muddy because it was raining uh, last night. Uh, so that's why whenever it is raining, the water, the rain brings mud from the mountains and it makes it look muddy. Okay, so this is also writing cafe. I'm not sure if they are also taverna or not, but what I can read is they are saying it's a cafe. Erhika cafe. Huh. The cables from for the loudspeakers, so they, they have music here going on. And in the right side we have some apartments just next to the sea. And and these looks pretty decent. I can see like if there is there are some people living here and or if it is like a hotel that you can rent and stay. I'm not sure you can check that in Google Maps. Of course, I will leave uh, a link to this place in the description. So when I drove and I came, I stopped here and it says like uh, Kirato Campos is finished in this area and from here it is uh, Castri, Castri. But if you would check the map, uh, Kirato Campos is much more uh, shown. Like Castri is not that you can easily find it. You will find Kirato Campos. So for the sake of this video, let's call this whole area Kirato Campos. And it is up to the municipality if they are calling this area this or that area that so but in uh, general let's it is Kerato Campos and here we have a mini market uh, yesterday I uh, got uh, water from here very nice person Thank you. 
And as you can see, it is written here, Tsutsuros. Uh, Tsutsuros is our next stop, so from here we will be driving to Tsutsuros. And at the meantime, some, some construction work is going on, I guess they are trying to fix something. Taverna Kriti and we have another taverna here and here and in this corner we have a we have a fish taverna. And the view is very beautiful. Ah, and here we have a fish market. It's closed now, but maybe they will be open. Yeah. And here we have a shop for handmade products. And next to it, it seems to me like uh, like a Airbnb or hotel hotel that you can stay. <coughs> Excuse me. And here and there, every now and then, you will see these uh, signs and these boards that they are uh, saying that the rooms to let or rooms to rent yeah and the good thing is we we have like almost everywhere shower in case if it is too hot in the summer and you are walking you can easily just take a shower here <laughs> and cool down Okay, so we have also here hotel that you can rent rooms in this area. And here we have a coffee shop. This is where I'm gonna be spending your donations. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, supporting me. I will be grabbing a coffee from here and then we are gonna continue our walk. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for the donations, links in the description. <laughs> so yeah, uh, very sweet people, I got my coffee from here and now we will continue our walk. It's so good, it's really good. And not forget to mention like we have here right in next to the street another beach in front of the port one another thing I noticed here the rock formation and the mountains are different it's like the type that you want to go and you want to climb like over there right now I'm thinking I wish I could go there and I cl I could climb that that uh, rock over there because the way the it is formed and it is possible to do so if you are a little bit experienced climber then you can do that and especially if you have a drone then uh, when you are there up the top you fly the drone and you are like standing there it, it's gonna look so epic and here we have uh, some premium quality hotels 
they look like they have invested quite some money here yeah I can see the solar panels I can see and I'm, I'm talking about the uh, water heating system from the Sun and I can see the air conditioning and up up there I can see like this hotel with umbrellas and everything yeah it looks chic these these are this this place looks a little bit chic and one of the hotels it's called Portela <laughs> just one <laughs> letter uh, different from <laughs> something yeah something different Diego, if you are uh, listening and watching this video, yeah, keep uh, making notes because we have ports all over the Crete. You better order that boat as soon as possible and explore these areas. Man, life is short. Make the decision. And here we have some more hotel rooms. This is under construction. And over there, just next to the port, we have more hotel rooms. And in this area, we have toilets. And here we have another taverna, not actually one, a few. This one is the Jimmy's taverna. And we have also uh, some hotel rooms. That's a Zimir Zoom Vermenten, like I saw the Zimir, <laughs> that's German, but Zamir is my name, Zimir is a German surname, I guess. And here we have a coffee shop. 
very nice and tropical uh, design and these white stones I believe is from Santorini because only on Santorini this can be found very beautiful design a very beautiful narrow street to walk very romantic look at this house it's so cute it's so beautiful and the cat over there <laughs> she is having really really a good time in this warm sun and here we have the beach as you can see this is an organized beach this part of it uh, they are trying to put the umbrellas and the sun bits and the other half of the beach is completely free please bring your own umbrella and your own towel put it here just enjoy the sun the south of Crete it is so soothing and so relaxing to be this much far in distance from too many things from city life and with the mix of this rock formation mountains the herbs and the idea of being far far in the south of Crete just amplifies that the the feeling the emotions of a day on the beach or a vacation I really like this place Keratokambos if I if I if I would be somebody who wants to spend some quality time with family or with friends and if you are somebody who is into going to the beach driving around exploring some places and then just coming to your hotel room and spending some more quality time then I absolutely recommend staying in uh, Kerato Campos Kerato Campos place a village seaside village as you can see the landscapes are just breathtaking and please uh, don't stop yourself from exploring the areas around you can go spend a day in RV you can go spend another day in uh, Sedonia or maybe you can stay in Sedonia and you can come here visit this place eat in this place all of that things like uh, I am really not about uh, kind of geek, uh, commanding you to do this to do that I am just sharing my feelings uh, my thoughts my ideas it's up to you to develop your own plan to develop your own ideas oh i saw that in his video and i can do that maybe if we stay here we can do that don't be a person who would always want who would always want to listen uh, to somebody to tell you to do something if i will tell you spin here one week well that's not human should be functioning that's why we have this uh, this kind of idea to to be free and to be able to explore and to be able to follow our, our instincts our emotions and our passion and with the combination with your miss otherwise you are gonna receive some kicks <laughs> you will be out of the bed okay so in the combination with others we can really get creative with our travel plans and we can explore more and we can live more it's I, i'm not just about yeah 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 you 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 having a good time let's get drunk and let's no it's about living more and it's about not vertically horizontally expand your life horizontally enough of this philosophy okay uh, good luck with getting what i'm saying uh, so this is a very beautiful place Kerato Kambos is highly recommended 
you should be visiting this place at least uh, once in your lifetime you are gonna love the atmosphere and the warmth and and the landscape which is right behind me it's 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 breathtaking speaking of breathtaking uh, before finishing the video uh, i will fly the drone i have already flown the drone i have the footage i will put the footage uh, in front of you to see and have a better perspective of this place how beautiful it is and how wide spread it is you are gonna love being here i'm pretty sure so yeah you enjoy the drone footage and i will enjoy drinking my coffee <laughs> Okay folks, this was it for Kerato Cambos. Hope you liked the video. It's not gonna be my last time coming here, spending time. I will be coming here and I will be exploring this area even furthermore. But hope you liked the video. If you did, share your thoughts, recommendation in the comment section. Once again, thanks to my Patreons. Thanks a lot, it means a lot to me. And thanks to those who have been supporting me, keep me going. Thank you so much, it means a lot to me. And only I can understand how much meaningful and how much effective uh, uh, your support is. And I will not go into the details. Thank you so much. Leave your thoughts, uh, recommendations in the comment section. And if you are already having a good time, consider subscribing. Other than that, until the next time, peace.